age of darkness. The world is pagan. They worship pagan gods. For millennia, idolatry reigns over humanity. Abraham called Ibrahim by Muslims. Patriarch of Judaism, Christianity and Islam, and a believer in the one true God. Takes his family and followers south. Abraham moves to the promised land. Abraham fathers two sons, one by a wife, the other by a slave. Isaac is the Jewish chain. Ishmael is the Arab world. For the next 3,000 years, these two branches battle. Drought and famine spread throughout the region. And so the Jews migrate south to the Nile River Basin. Legend has them enslaved for the next 400 years. Then comes Moses. Moshe leads the Jews out of Egypt. For the next several hundred years, Jerusalem becomes the center of Jewish culture. Beginning in 700 BC, the first in a long series of invaders sacks Jerusalem. Then the Assyrians invade. Assyria comes in. Followed by the Babylonians, who in turn are defeated by the Persians. The Persians are then destroyed by Alexander the Great. The kingdom is conquered. There is a civil war. The Jewish temple is destroyed. Eventually, they rebuild. Jesus, Isa. Jesus is born. He has a book that is called the Gospel. Rome feels threatened. They rename the region Palestine. Palestine. Roman authorities disperse the area's Jews across the Middle East and Europe. Rome governs with a heavy hand. In the 6th century, Muhammad is born in Mecca. Muslims believe Muhammad is the final prophet. He founds a new religion called Submission. The founding of Islam brings together the dispersed Arab tribes. It's an Arab-Muslim regime. Christian armies band together to retake the Holy Land. The cross versus the crescent. The eastern capital of Christendom falls to Islamic warriors. Jews ended up in Ottoman lands. A young Viennese Jew named Theodore Herzl mobilizes the Jews' return to the Promised Land. Oil was first discovered at the end of the 19th century in the Middle East. The Ottoman Empire teaches. The First World War, this is the beginning of mechanized warfare. The Ottoman Empire finds itself on the losing side of World War I and collapses. And the eyes were all directed to the Middle East. The resource-starved British Empire descends on the region. This is the beginning of interest by Western powers in Middle Eastern oil. that the American government couldn't stand idly by while the victims of Hitler's madness were not allowed to build new lives. The 14th of May, 1948, the last day of the British mandate. In the wake of World War II, the United Nations authorizes the creation of a Jewish homeland. Some of the early Zionists warned that competition with the Arabs was going to be unavoidable. The same day that David Ben-Gurion announced that the state of Israel would come into existence, Five Arab states invaded. On the 5th of June, 1967, Israel launched an attack against Egypt. In 1967, Israel launches a preemptive strike against its Arab neighbors in an attempt to preserve its security. Israel seizes the West Bank, the Golan, and the Sinai. But what is not contested is that this was a decisive turning point. On Judaism's holiest day, a coalition of Arab nations launched a surprise attack against Israel. America's support of Israel ignites the oil crisis. And the United States is forced to focus its attention on the crisis in the Middle East.